Hello my friends. Welcome back to beaded stitching. Looks like many of you like to watch me stitching beaded stitching and sorry I cannot tell you <laughs> where this from because this was gifted to me by my lovely viewer Bonnie Wog. Thank you so much. She spoiled me. This is my earlier birthday present from her. She spoiled me every year now. Thank you so much. So when I started to work on in my first video I did mistake like right in the first row because I was working without magnifier glass uh, or like or without light or something and I couldn't really see the holes because they are super super tiny. So I made mistake and then I break my needle because I tried to force it because some of the holes was m smaller. So yes, I did find a needle from my stash, from my time that I used to beat a lot. And this is what I have so far. I should open more blinds maybe. Well done. Let's prepare for squeaks. Okay, but I have to warn you, I have to work with magnifier glass and light because otherwise I will make mistake. Maybe if I would start to work again on this one, I wouldn't start from the bottom, I would start probably from the top because uh, my thread keeps like catching up through this uh, wiggles. I'm, I'm thinking to cover maybe with something, but if I would stitch from this side, that way it's going to be a smooth surface and I wouldn't need to um, all the time untangle my thread, but I kind of figure out how to work. I basically, when I pull my thread away, I kind of lean backwards, that way thread kind of goes smoothly from the side. I might zoom to close. Okay. Uh, now, another thing, um, yeah, Bonnie, she sent me some video to watch how to stitch on it. I did not have a chance to watch the video yet. Sorry. Um, but I watch lots of YouTubers who stitch on a wooden boards like this. Uh, some of them, many of them paint base first in white color or black color. I like to have original wood and that's why I did not uh, use any, you could use some acrylic paint or um, I don't know, gold or silver. Uh, later, I don't know if I want to decorate with something else or not. I might will decorate like around in here, uh, but I did not want it to have a painted. And also I was thinking if not to see this grid in here, I could probably start to stitch from this side and on this side would be my guide where to put my back in. But I don't know. That's how I start. That's how I will do. And last time when I stitched by myself, I can show you what I did. I mix my green beads. You see that? Two color in one patch. Yeah, I put in the wrong bag. So now I just put this on the mat and pick in after bunch the color that I need. So I don't have to separate. Okay, so now my row will continue. And I need get my pattern so I can see it. And I move a little bit over. I'll kinda on my way. Okay, maybe I can put it on another side. Hold on. So it's not on your way, but also... Mm -mm -mm. Where can I see? Just a minute. No, I have to keep it here. And I use my... I see how I do. I use my tray. My diamond painting tray. To separate my... I was doing a little bit with the heat erase pen in here, but also it's gonna help better to see uh, when I put tray on the top, that way I see the row where I have to go. And I will only watch in here when I get like to the center. And from the center, I don't need this pattern anymore because I would look 
now from here whatever I do from the side I just look on my pattern and do a mirror way okay so now I need one less green so whatever I have a line in here of dark green I'm just going to do one less and see like I have to flip this way so my thread kinda hanging from here and not going to tangle through this thing and also it's just every time I have to look from the back and actually from this side I can see better where I go so I can go from another side Now you have to be careful on this side not to poke yourself with the sharp needle. So when I put my needle down, I kind of move my fingers away from that side. And then when I needle go through, I'm kind of grabbing with these two fingers because the needle are very thin and sometimes can just fall. See what I'm talking about? It's already like tangled up around this design. So definitely if I would do like a next time, I would start to do from the top where I don't have this wiggles but also when I do off the camera it's more comfortable for me to flip from one side to another to see what I'm doing this kind of design it's not very comfortable to work on camera I have to say because see like I have to flip it all the time but that's the way you have to stitch my thread in here go really fast to nothing if you can see in here on this side this is was my first start so I taped my thread to the bottom in here but in here I already added the second thread and now I have not very long thread left so maybe I can stitch uh, one or two row more and I will have to add again so I kind of do like a knot thing okay so now I have to look my pattern I have my green beads now I need one more white for that spot and not to forget to enter from this side and the end one white Oh, you know what, maybe, hold on, I will try to use my glasses, so maybe I don't have to blind you with the light. Um, <laughs> okay, I might will need to, I need to move my light from another side. Let me try something let's try from this side so I have uh, my light from where was my camera was staying a few seconds back and maybe this way will be better okay so I need three white but I have to go on another side maybe this way you will see better let's try one pick up the bead and when I hold the upside down kind of see like my thread I want to follow front of me so I can pull it and that way it's not tangling behind us wiggles the design Okay, next I need one dark 
because I'm doing a new row so it's kind of like a design of course changes lines lots of flipping back and forth but that's the only way I think to do it because you cannot see a holes from another side what's next now I need the lighter green the one I keep mixed No, you still cannot see very well. I have to try to put camera maybe in front of me. Okay, we will try one more time. Okay, let's try from this side. You are sitting right in front of me. Yeah, so my apology for, you know, changing and stopping video all the time. I'm just trying to figure out how it's better for you to watch it. Kind of like you will see maybe better this way. But when I will flip my, see like I have to flip all the time, I don't know if this is, would be comfortable for you on a video. We will try at least a little bit. Okay, so let me check my pattern. Okay, white, green, dark green, dark green, maybe it's just like right in here. I have to say it's fun it's fun and we're gonna continue here a row of three of orange and since I get to the center then I don't need to look on my pattern so when I do because the needle would like fall out if I let go so when I do this then I kind of grab with this finger to kind of hold my needle like this so I can pull from here otherwise the needle is just going to fall back because it's so thin okay uh, let's see orange, no, orange yellow How's this position for you? Is it better or not? White. This way you see me picking the beads. Yeah, lots of flipping. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, do some progress, and then show you and do more maybe later I'm just gonna create at least one row see like I'm holding and it's going to this is my center where is this two dark beads so now I'm changing it's like a crisscross on the inside I need one orange And that's it. From now, from this point, I don't need to look on my pattern on a paper because now I'm just going to look this row from here and do in the mirror. So now I need one dark one. And that's kind of like a speeding up. Only the first time you have to look to the book and kind of slowing you down. But later when you have to look just in here, so it's much kind of faster go now now we can see that we need another weight
this beaded mat this little there is like beads not uh, running away kind of sinking a little bit this fabric I got from Michaels it was uh, two pieces in one package but this is the only size they had oh, my thread getting shorter I wish it was a little bit bigger but for now that's all what they have Okay, yellow. Important thing to chit chat with you and not to mistake in colors orange. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if. I have a thread even enough to finish this row I I can make it more it's kinda thread finishing fast and I taken a long thread like more than a meter for sure but it's finishing fast so I have to keep adding a new one dark green light green just make sure your beads all point to the same direction the same angle now we need one white really wants to finish this row with this thread so when I add it will be like on the edge okay now we need three white ah I stitched my finger This new oh I lost okay. I lost my thread. So I guess I'm just going to add right now. And when I lost my bead, I don't know. So what I will do Well it's kinda still see well maybe like one, two, three, four maybe like three and a half four inch thread still left so I'm going to grab my threads and we are going to add one you can see how I do and maybe not the right way but that's the way I'm doing and I'm gonna show you how I do it all right and I'm going to make a long 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 thread Okay, let me just get off the camera kind of I'm just kind of like a get down the thread so it's just like unwind and pull one so as much as I can like reach to pull my this is like a one side now I pull my arm up as much as I can reach and that's the link of the thread that I'm using so it's basically like two meters probably now my scissors before I cut I need to do put my thread into this slit a 
love the scissors they are so sharp it's nice to work with them okay so what I do now I will show you what I do now so I have my I just put two ends together okay can you see it two 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 ends together then I wrap them oh. it's silky sometimes tricky keep slipping away basically I just wrap around my finger if I can't maybe not right now okay we will do the other way I don't know if you can see it I kinda making a loop I may need to use my tweezers hold on I have to say that it's just not comfortable because I have a little nails so the tweezers will help a little bit for me right now to do this job and hopefully I can do this on camera so I'm just gonna like a over overlap kind of create like a hoop like this right loop then I will grab my tweezers and grab my threads and pull it so this is what I have right now like this and I just pull them together basically just doing a knot and if I pull like this sometimes can untangle so you have to make sure it's tight and so far you go okay through those holes and through the beads but now I have extension of my thread just like this for now and when I get close with this uh, hook to here I just put sticker from my diamond paint and labels just to keep it so it doesn't untangle for now because later when I will put back in in here it will kind of like a glue or secure so nothing is going to happen to my thread now I need to get another side it's a very long thread now I need to get this side through this tiny tiny hole and I got it and I got it pretty good okay now I pull as much as like close 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 okay so I have very very long thread right now so right now when I do my design okay I need two more white I have to be careful when this not go through my holes so let's try to pull it first all this thread that I have and then when I get to this see it kinda it's going easy see that here it is it's going easy so far and when I lean like this see that way my thread goes smoothly into it make sure nothing is tangling in here and where is that no not this whole go pretty good there It looks like this thread like it's so long long but it will be done so fast 
just a few rows and you have to extend again so I just need to be careful like this till I finish with my knot that we have on our thread later just kind of easier okay so now I need to go all the way with this dark green and we are continuing because this row have to be straight so on the top of this tube I have to stop and it's going to be we're going to create new row it's fun I have to say it's fun and when I hold like this down it's kind of like less tangle here I just now hear for the first time I think the birds is chirping spring is coming, real spring because it was so cold I didn't really hear the birds kind of still sleeping or what <laughs> okay I wonder if you hear on the video how birds singing because it's pretty awesome for me right now okay a little bit okay you see how we are going to I'm gonna maybe one or two and we are going to done with this knot will get will be go under so let's see if this time we can secure on the back maybe Careful. Okay, so now it's going like under, and you see this tail sticking out. So I need to get this tail of our knot on this side, and I will pull out from here. Okay, so it's not going to go on other side anymore. So my next needle go in here from my next row. I'm going to hold this little tail in here pull my needle here and now I will grab my tape oh, just a minute I have my drink in here coffee 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 I'm sorry if I'm hitting my camera I just need to get this one label just for temporarily security of the thread and I will do push this down a little bit like this okay that's it and now we are continue with our brand new long 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 thread <laughs> okay so that's how um, that's the point actually of this video that I wanted to show you that's why I kind of purposely left my thread short to start this video with because just for in case you know you might doing different 
some people start and wiggle through the beads few times but I think this way will work for me as well uh, if this would be plastic I don't know probably would do the same thing or differently go a few times through some beads wiggle back and forth but I tried this knot it looks like holding a good the only thing because the thread is long it's keep wiggling you see that I have to make it one tail shorter because it's twisting it's twisting okay one more bead in here and we are going to start new row there okay now let me check my design in here we have to make one more up okay so I need to get one more on the edge in here so let me see from this side I have to go like see all this this is on my side I should go probably in here now I have to double check and that is going to make me oh that's a wrong hole because it's going to be wrong direction one more close oh I might well have a problem in here or what my needle doesn't want to go through this hole oh I have to kind of let's see if my needle will go through hopefully oh it is okay see sometimes because it's like a uh, burning hole sometimes the residue inside so you have to kind of poke it thank goodness this needle went through okay now we need dark green to overlap two whites so all the way to this point so basically I'm not going to count because I just visually see where it's supposed to be ow and I just poke my finger because I'm talking and not paying attention did I poke it through yeah <laughs> it's bleeding mm. we're just gonna kiss it and make it all better wasn't that deep let's pretend this is acupuncture okay my video will be soon stop because we already in in this part and almost 23 minutes okay what am I doing Okay, from the bottom that's what I will do okay no run hole there it's important to start and important not to tangle because right now threads kind of wants to crawl up so sometimes I just throw my needle like down to let this untangle threads or just go very careful because of the tail crawling up it's not a knot yet but it could be if we are not careful okay so you got the idea what I'm doing in here now I think I will do some progress and come back to you and show you how much I did because this is definitely attempting to crawl up I have to release my thread a little bit to the floor to get untangled 
All right, I will get back to you. Here is so far what I have. So I got in here to the point where my design go like the ribbon. That's the kind of like a center of the egg. So right now I'm in this corner. Okay, right in here. This white part, it's going to be my first line and then it's going to be second one we'll start now so this is almost almost half just a little bit left maybe to the center i have left one two three one two three one two okay i need to create one two and the third row will be the center of the egg love it love it it's so much fun to work with beads absolutely gorgeous so sparkle beautiful okay I think we are done for now oh and I edit in here now I have in here new color first time first time right now I edit in here this light green color that I did not use yet so it's um, right in here kind of in the center it's it's blending with yellow but if I show you more close, you can see the kind of like a diagonal in here and a little bit down. So that's the new color I have right now. And that's it. I will be working on. And in one of the video, I will show you the finished project. So I don't think I will be um, uh, creating this one more time in the video because it's a little bit difficult to stitch on this on the video. But I definitely will show you the finished design because it's beautiful. All right, my friends, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.